So hello everybody, this is Florian speaking from the top, from the 11th floor of the Hotel Andante in Barcelona, Spain. And it's uh, wonderful here, maybe a bit windy, so I don't know about the sound. And I have um, a person here who comes from a country where it's much colder right now, but we're happy to be in Barcelona together. It's Jim uh, Dalsianu from Aarhus, uh, Aalborg uh, in Denmark, and uh, he will introduce himself now. Okay, yeah, thank you, Florian. I'm Jim Dausjanu, and uh, I am professor at the Royal Academy of Music, where I'm uh, the head of the vocal or the choral department of rock, pop, and jazz at the Royal Academy of Music in Aarhus and Aalborg. Thank you. Yeah, we want to do a little interview, and we originally planned it to do it inside a hotel room studio anyway, but the weather is so nice, that, and we found this amazing place here. You know, this is the panorama of Barcelona, and we even have a pool here, which we want to try tonight. Uh, it's about 12 uh, degrees centigrade, so it's quite tough, but look at us. Um, we can do it. Yeah, we will do it, and we'll probably not post it on Facebook, because uh, it will be crazy. So, uh, to give you a better sound, uh, we go to our studio now and continue a little interview about uh, music education in Denmark, especially at the conservatory and all over Europe. Thank you very much. See you later. So here we are um, at Leo Sings at the Barcelona Hotel Room Studio 107 <laughs> at the Hotel Andante with uh, Jim Dausiano. I don't know if our introduction uh, worked, so, uh, um, um, uh, so but we won't do the introduction again. Um, we just want to talk about musical education, vocal music education, rhythmic <coughs> vocal music. We'll come to that later. We'll, uh, what's the actual name and the meaning of that? With Jim Dalsiano from the Royal Conservatory in Aarhus and Aalborg. And um, well, you can easily say that he and Jens Johansen, uh, both from Denmark, are kind of pioneers in the education of uh, rhythmic vocal music. Um, before we talk your, about your current project and studies, I would like to take the viewers a bit back in time. Um, well, how did this all start? Because you have a feeling that when you talk about this uh, new kind of vocal music education, it all comes from Denmark. How, how, how did that come about? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that is true, but but um, I want to mention uh, Jens, like like the the real pioneer of this, because um, when I when I was a kid, <laughs> uh, I met him in uh, high school where mm. he did the project. And that was my first meeting with a large choir singing, I think it was Queen, and it was so great and powerful and really groovy that uh, I completely fell in love with it. And since then, since um, in, in from the uh, late 70s, uh, first of 80s, uh, I, Jens uh, um, did a very good job in actually arranging music and performing it all. So I think that we all kind of just grew up with this kind of music, all of us that like that niche, yeah, yeah. and um, then a bit by bit it uh, came along at our academies, in especially Aalborg and Aalborg, mm -hmm. which at that time was two different academies. Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, during my study time at my last year, I had the possibility to have Jens as my teacher. So Jens was your mentor? Uh, he was, yeah. And you're so kind of like, uh, if you, the people from the scene, I think they have the impression that you're the master student of, of Jens, you wouldn't say so, but that it, somehow you grew from, from yeah. his mentorship. Yeah. And so maybe tell me a bit about Jens Johansen. He's a, I've met him like 10 years ago when he came with the vocal line, his uh, yeah. quite famous choir. Yeah. And uh, what is what, what makes him that special person uh, who can make such a change in also getting this to an academic level? Well, first of all, he's a very nice person and <laughs> loves the music. And uh, I mean, that's it. He loves it so much that he has been working with it um, for many, many years. Started Vocal Line, a very nice, talented, um, skilled choir mm -hmm. that uh, have been going on for more than 20 years. Mm -hmm. And, um, and uh, I mean, he just had an eye and ear for what it takes to perform that kind of music in the real way mm -hmm. um, and in the real way I mean it's a real rhythmical choir that's what they do wonderful arrangements uh, nice rehearsings nice methodology mm -hmm. and um, well a great musician that uh, just did it from the very yeah. first yeah. so it's authenticity and it's uh, uh, doing doing um, contemporary rhythmic 
pop, jazz, and rock music in an authentic way. I think this is one of the core yeah. messages. That yes. Because, well, this is basically very young uh, to, to do so. It's not a very old tradition compared right. to choir singing in the yeah. traditional way, in the traditional yeah. sense. Yeah, that's right. And also the sound uh, is very important, and, mm -hmm. and they have developed on that as well, yeah. how to use uh, to use microphones or not, mm -hmm. and how the sound should be. Should they go individual or like like the sound that they have now, which is very, very nice, mm -hmm. with a combination of of uh, solo mics for the basses, soloists, and mm -hmm. um, and uh, other microphones for the rest of the choir. It's kind of a, now a vocal line sound, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a kind so of... it still s sounds like a choir, mm -hmm. but the sound is really close to the audience, and then um, in the in the style of, yeah, of yeah. that music, it's. Uh, pioneering in a technical way too. So vocal line has become a kind of school of singers too. So yeah, there, are, there are new innovative ways of a cappella singing that has emerged out of that. Uh, yeah. Can you name any examples of that? Of any other groups? Uh, yeah, maybe uh, they come out of vo vocal line and, and that have really taken it to yeah, the front. For example, uh, yeah, of course, Posture Project mm -hmm. was, is one of them that is a, a really innovative group now. Mm -hmm. They are all... They combine Most it. of them are are uh, kind of uh, from the vocal yeah, line school yeah. and some of them still in the choir mm -hmm. and I know that many many choir leaders now mm -hmm. that is not a part of the choir uh, mm -hmm. now they have been there and kind mm -hmm. of be being trainees yeah, yeah, so yeah. to speak so yeah. so for the many um, the pro the progression or the um, uh, the way to innovate and um, develop skills and style sound yeah. is they have had many years of training yeah, yeah. so it's a kind of become a kind of singing school too like the yeah and, and talking of schools of course then or if you talk about Aarhus and Orbok, this is uh, for many in, uh, in the in the a cappella and vocal music community this is a kind of like this is the place to be or one of the places to be because you have Jens, you have the vocal line, yeah. you have the Aarhus Vocal Festival, which you come to later, yeah. and you have the other groups that come from, from Denmark. So you are actually working, you're currently working at the uh, Royal Conservatory um, as a professor, yeah. and uh, Jens is at the university. Yeah. So can you tell me a bit about your work at the Royal Academy and what makes studying there special? What is your goals for that? Yeah, we want to share our knowledge and the methodology that we are going have been kind of consolidated uh, the last five to eight years and uh, we we have bachelor students and master students soloist students um, further education students so all in all there are many many students that want to focus on this subject how to how to be a leader of a vocal group singing pop rock, jazz, improvisational mm -hmm. works and many things. It's also like what I heard is also defining a kind of new role of a conductor as a leader of a, of a group, not in the traditional way of a maestro, but maybe... A no, different. but also a maestro. It comes from the same point of view that we need the, the classical skills, first of all. Mm -hmm. So it's not to, 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 to take that away. It's okay. important to have the skills and be really good, mm -hmm. actually a good conductor, because then you know why you don't conduct. Mm -hmm. And if you need to conduct, you know exactly how to do that. But of course, in my opinion, it takes another um, way of working with what we call the intelligent ensemble. Mm -hmm. And the intelligent ensemble, it takes a couple of years to, to know as a teacher how to develop your singer's skills so you both teach them and conduct them. So it's pedagogical work and an artistic yeah. work. So we have to be like it, 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 well trained mm -hmm. yeah. to work with this this kind of music. Otherwise, it will, in my opinion, will be too, too, um, uh, yeah. It's not actually what I mean, but too classical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to yeah. you know, you cannot you you can conduct rhythms, but it will not swing unless they know how to perform it themselves, yeah, yeah, and yeah. that will take a while when yeah. you know how to deal with that. So it's an interesting concept that you're not saying, okay, we have a new methodology that is much better and, and, and cut the, the old stuff and get away, but still you, there are some qualities that are still very important for conductors. Very, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, sure. And, and that's probably the, the clever way to get it into an academic level, that you say, okay, <laughs> we, we, want to, we want to make this part of the curriculum of, an, of a real yeah. uh, royal conservatory. Yes. Yeah. That's very that's fascinating. Yeah, the, the Danish.